So this is our little camp that we built last night. We kind of made like a wooden perimeter all around. I mean, not that that's going to do a whole lot, but it'll make some noise if animals come through as one of our hammocks. But we pretty much packed in everything that you see here. It was pretty heavy, needless to say. And here is our fire pit. Man, this was a really cool fire pit that we had last night. Um, it worked out well. It worked out quite well. But... Lucy. But I think one of the best parts right over here is we're right in front of this great view. We would have loved to camp out right in front of this cliff, but we needed some wind block so that way we don't, you know... Wow, check this out. So there's uh, Sandia Crest and the Needle Point right there. And then, of course, you can see Albuquerque below. And then we're kind of on this, like, uh, some type of escarpment. Maybe, I don't know if this is maybe sandstone limestone something like that but yeah check out that view just too cool so we got here pretty late last night but it was still well worth it and there's our campsite over there so we found we feel we felt like we found a pretty cool spot. Um, it took a while to carry all those rocks, and man, our stuff was heavy. We had to bring a ton of extra water. But watch, we'll go up this uh, trail this way. So this trail just goes along this crest here. And the trail that we're following right now, this goes up to North Sandia Peak. And I just kind of want you guys to see the view from the peak. It's quite beautiful. Sorry, I hope you guys can't hear me huffing and puffing. Look at all these aspens. Aspen definitely have to be one of my favorites. So here's another view. Crest up that way. There's Albuquerque down below. And here we are. This is the point of North Sandia Peak. And it looks like, as you can see from this concrete, there used to be some type of radio antenna or something up here. But uh, we're almost down to this bottom part. 
check that out oh, really cool but the best view is actually over this direction wow check out those pine cones look at that This is the kind of the bottom of this escarpment. Wow, check out all these ladybugs. I don't know if y'all can see those on the videos. <laughs> but this is the bottom of that escarpment that I was kind of looking at from the top over there. I suppose, you know, we could walk this. Um, it's definitely worth investigating some more. Look at these red flowers. Kinda cool, right? All right, enough of that. And here is one of my favorite views of the area. Look at that cliff, holy cow. So that down where we're looking at right now is Placitas. Over to the right hand side, that mountain range off to the right, those are the Santa, that's the Santa Fe National Forest. That mountain range straight ahead of us in the distance, that's the, those are the Jemez Mountains. That's where you would see like uh, Valles uh, Caldera at and of course down there the Rio Grande Valley and Albuquerque but this has always been one of my favorite peaks to uh, hike at uh, right right up here we're probably at an elevation I think about 10,400 feet something like that but it's always worth it it's, an, it's actually not too much of a hard hike either but uh, I really want to go explore this canyon down below that we're looking at but that's obviously a hike for another day. So hopefully once it starts cooling down here in another month or two, we're going to start doing exploring some more mines, doing that type of thing. It's just a little hot right now. And, well, we're not trying to be the next uh, victims of uh, heat stroke and dehydration out there. Because although where we're, where we're at right now, it's about 72 degrees, 73 degrees. But... Down in the valley, it's it's pretty darn hot right now, and it's it's a little too hot to walk too far. I don't mind hiking 13, 14, 15 or more miles, but not when it's 90 or 100 degrees out. It's just a little too much. But, hey, thanks again for everybody watching my videos. I appreciate all the positive comments. Um, I really appreciate the feedback as well. Um, again, I'm kind of surprised how many people actually subscribe, subscribe to my channel. So, again, I definitely appreciate it. So, I appreciate it if you all subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy the video. And uh, any other suggestions? If there's other stuff that uh, I may not know about in the Albuquerque area, definitely let me know or send me, let me know in a comment. Um, I don't mind driving three or four or five or more hours. So, uh, this is pretty much what I do on my time off. But, anyway, thanks again. You all have a good one.